אה, כבודי ושמחתי אה, רבה לנהל את המושב השלישי. אה, טוב, אנחנו חייבים אה, לסגור את המושב בשבע ושלושים. אוקיי, אז אה, המרצה הראשון היה אמור להיות פרופסור אריה לוין. אה, הוא לא יכל להיות איתנו ל... לצערנו או לצערו הרב, מקריא את ההרצאה שלו אריק סדן ממרכז שלם בירושלים. הרצאתו על איזמל פאל, כן, אוקיי. שרידי איזמל עפאל בדיאלקטים מודרניים. בבקשה. תודה רבה. אריה ביקש ממני שלושה דברים, אריה מצבו טוב, הוא עבר ניתוח, הוא עבר תקופה בבית החולים, הוא כבר בבית, הוא מרגיש בסדר, ביקרתי איתו שם שלוש פעמים, הבוקר דיברתי איתו, הוא כבר בבית, הוא מוסר לכולם דרישת שלום חמה, אבל במיוחד רצה לברך את יאשי, בהרבה איחולים טובים לרגל הפרישה ולחיי הפרישה, הוא רצה להתנצל מאוד שהוא לא יכול היה להגיע, אני חושב שכולנו מבינים. Uh, ושלישית הוא רוצה להודות לבעתה uh, על שהזמינה אותו. אז uh, אני ארצה את ההרצאה של אריה באנגלית, הוא כתב אותה uh, באנגלית וזה מתוך מאמר שאמור להיות מפורסם. Uh, כדרכו בקודש לאריה אין, uh, um, אריה לא נתן לי איזשהו תמסיר, אבל חשבתי שיהיה כדאי לכתוב את מהלך ההרצאה על הלוח, אז... Uh, להדליק את האור? הדבר הזה אמור פשוט ללוות uh, תוך כדי ההרצאה את המהלך שלה. Uh, כמו שאתם רואים, להרצאה יש uh, שלושה חלקים, uh, תהיה הקדמה, יהיה החלק העיקרי שמדבר על שרידי אסמה אלפיאל בדיאלקטים ערביים מודרניים ומסקנות. Uh, אני אשתדל לדבר גם uh, לאט וברור וגם לעמוד במגבלת הזמן. Introduction, the sense of the term אסמה אלפיאל. In Arabic grammatical terminology, the term אסמה אלפיאל refers to certain interjections denoting a sense of a verb, such as nazali, go down, halumma, come here, and ilaika, go away. Most of the interjections belonging to the category of asma al-fiel denote an imperative. However, some of them denote the sense of a verb in the past tense. Asma al-fiel as imperatives are divided according to the derivational criteria into three groups. The first group, Asma al-Fi'al on the Fa'ali pattern, derived from triliteral roots. For example, Nazali, get down, Hadari, beware, be cautious, and Nazari, look. The second group is Asma al-Fi'al, which are formed by a combination of a preposition and a genitive pronoun of the second person, such as Ilaika, go away, according to Sisibawahi, or as Lane translates it, take. So Ilaika, go away, according to Sibawahi, but Lane has a different translation. Other examples, Dunaka Zaidan, or Indaka Zaidan, sees Zaid. The genitive pronoun included in combinations acting as a smile fell is declinable in number and gender. The third group is a smile fell, which are isolated forms such as Hayahalla, come quickly. Ihi, tell more. These isolated forms are called by some grammarians aswat, singular saut, literary, literally sounds. The term Asma el-Fi'al occurs for the first time in the Kitab of Sibawaihi. The, form, the, the singular forms Ism al-Fa'il or Ism Fi'al occur only in later sources. The sense of the term Asma al-Fi'al, according to the Arab grammarians, is the proper names of the verbs. The term derives from their notion that certain verbs have a proper name. Sometimes, Instead of using a given verb, the speaker uses its proper name. The proper name of the verb is a sign denoting the verb, just as the proper name of a given person is a sign denoting that person. For example, the form Hayahala is the proper name of the verb Iti, 
come, as the name Hassanu is the proper name of a given person. Hence, Hayyahala, when used by the speaker, denotes the verb iti, just as Hassanu denotes a person known by this name. Second part, Asma al-Fel in modern Arabic dialects. Some vestiges of imperative forms, which belong to the grammatical category called by the old Arabic Asma al-Fel, can be found in modern Arabic dialects. Number one, lek. In the dialect of Damascus, as well as in other Syrian dialects, the form lek occurs in the sense of here is, as in the, as in the example, lek masarik, here is your money. Cowell, who holds that lek is an exclamatory or imperative demonstrative, tells us that this form is used when, and I quote, handling something to someone, end of quote. Hence it is clear that lek in this sense corresponds to the isemfil ilaika, which occurred in speech in old Arabic in the sense of take. The form lek, feminine leki, plural leku, denote the sense of look in Damascus and in other Syrian dialects, as well as in some Lebanese and some Galilean dialects. From the many Arab Israeli students who participated in my classes, that is in Arya's classes, only those living in the Galilee knew the form lek and its sense. It seems that lek in this sense has developed from lek in the sense of here is. So this is point number one. Point number two, aindak or andak. In some modern dialects, the form aindak or andak occurs in the sense of stop, halt, stay where you are. This sense of aindak and andak occurs in Syrian and Palestinian dialects, such as Damascus, Aleppo, Jerusalem, the dialects of the Galilee, and the Negev Bedouin dialects of the Tihaya, Tiyaha, sorry, yeah. Tiyaha. In Cairo, the sense of andak is stop what you are doing, hold it. This is from Badawi. The expression istanna andak means stop where you are, stay where you are, Badawi Heinz. The form andak, watch out, beware of, occurs in Casablanca. And andak, be cautious, uh, in other Moroccan dialects. According to Sibawaihi, a similar use of aindak, aindaka occurred in Old Arabic. In referring to aindaka occurring as ismfiel, Sibawaihi says, and I quote, وَكَذَلِكَ aindaka إِذَا كُنْتَ تُحَذِّرُهُ مِنْ بَيْنِ يَدَيْهِ شَيْئًا أَوْ تَأَمُرُهُ أَنْ يَتَقَدَّمَ Meaning, similar to this, that is similar to the command ba'daka that he discusses uh, before. Ba'daka, um, which means beware of something behind you or go back and stay behind the person or behind a group of people which, which stays behind you in order to be cautious. So similar to this is the command a'indaka when you warn somebody of something before him or you order him as a measure of precaution to, beca to become before another person and to stop there. This excerpt indicates that Rindaka as an ism fail can denote two different commands. One, beware of something before you, and two, proceed, that is, go ahead and become before a person or a group of people which stays before you and stop before him or before them in order to be cautious. Um, Ari explains here that in the quote, the sense of anyatakadama here is not to advance, but to proceed. According to Lane, the sense of takadama ala gairihi is, and I quote, he or it was or became before another, preceded another. Although this lexical item occurs in the eighth volume of Lane's dictionary, the way it is edited indicates that it was edited by Lane himself and not by his nephew Stanley Lanepool. אמירה של אריה שאפשר להבין ממנה הרבה יותר מאשר רק המשפט עצמו. Lane also says that תקדמה in this sense is the synonym of סבקה and the contrast of תאחרה. 
Hence, the senses of Aindaka, mentioned by Sibawaihi, are similar to those of the modern dialectal forms originating in Aindaka. Lane refers only to the first meaning mentioned by Sibawaihi, saying, and I quote, and in cautioning a person respecting a thing before him, one says, Aindaka, meaning, keep thou where thou art. And it is still used in this sense. Um, end of the remark by Lane. In other words, Lane believes that the sense of Aindaka here is stop. His remark, and it is still used in this sense, end of quote, denotes that Aindaka in this sense of stop was still used in his time, the time of Lane, in Egypt. Um, Arya remarks here, the modern dialectal dictionaries of Egypt do not give this exact meaning, but mention similar senses of Andak. According to Badawi Heinz, Andak denotes stop what we are doing, hold it. The expression Istanna Andak means stop where you are, stay where you are. Number three, Hayya. According to Azamakhshari, 12th century, the sense of the form Hayya is Akbil, that is, come. Azamakhshari says that this form occurs in the call to prayer of the of the Mu'addin, Hayya ala salah, come to prayer. In the present day dialects, Hayya occurs in this call to prayer. For example, in Jerusalem, Ya ikhwan, ya ashab, ya ashab, Hayya ala salah, O brethren or dear friends, O friends, come to prayer. Uh, this is taken from Ben Ze'ev. This example occurs in a text describing a Muslim sheikh walking in the streets of the old city of Jerusalem and calling the people to come to the Friday prayer. The text was composed by Saleh Khamis, one of Ben Ze'ev's informants. For the occurrences of the expression Hayya ala salah in Cairo, one can also see Badawi Heinz definitions and examples. Number four, uh, Hayyala, Hayyala. I heard in Kufurkana, near Nazareth, this form in the sense of come in and be welcomed. This expression is said by a person who welcomes someone or some people when entering his house. This form derives from the ism fi'l hayyahala or hayyahalla in classical Arabic, denoting come. This sense is not mentioned in the dictionaries of the Arabic dialects. The form hayyalla, not as ism fi'l, occurs in the Galilee in the sense of it doesn't matter which. Uh, Elichai mentions it in, it in his dictionary. Ayya wahad biddak, and the response, Hayyalla. It doesn't matter. I'll take either one. Elichai says that this form in this sense derives from the expression Hayya Allah. May God sustain them both. However, it is possible that this form in this sense originates in the above mentioned Ism Fiel in the sense of uh, let's either one of them come and become in my possession. So the root origin come, but it doesn't matter which one. Number five, hat. The form hat, give, feminine hati, plural hatu, are found in many, many modern dialects. These forms correspond to hat, hati, and hatu, which had the same connotation in the old Arabic, and which are regarded by some of the later grammarians as an ism fi'al, although Sibawaihi and Al-Mubarrad do not mention it among Asma'il Fial. Number six, indeclinable forms on pattern Fa'ali. So in Old Arabic, many indeclinable forms on pattern Fa'ali occurred as Asma'il Fial, denoting the imperative. For example, Nazali, get down. Hadari, beware, be cautious. Nazari, look. The sense of a given ism fi'l on the fa'ali pattern is the same as that of an imperative of the first verb form, derived from the same root. Thus, nazali has the same connotation as inzil, and hadari has the same of ihdar. Unlike imperatives of the first form, a small fi'l on the fa'ali pattern are indeclinable. Thus, for example, nazali stands for all the declined forms of inzil, such as inzili, inzilu, and inzilna. 
Examples of corresponding indeclinable imperative forms on pattern Fa'ali occur in the Bedouin dialect of Kashkadaria in Central Asia, today Uzbekistan. Professor Guam Chikovani, who has investigated the Arabic dialects of Central Asia during the last decades, mentioned, mentions the following examples. Nazali, get down. Dakhali, come in. Katabi, write. Sharabi, drink. Chikovani says that in the dialect of Kashkadaria, imperative forms on pattern Fa'ali occur more rarely than other declinable imperative forms belonging to the first verb form and ending in in, like ushrubin, drink, masculine singular. Um, Aria notes here the conjugation of ushrubin is ushrubini, feminine singular, ushrubinu, masculine singular, and ushrubina, feminine plural. Imperative forms on pattern Fa'ali are unknown to me from any other modern dialect. Uh, I arrived to the conclusions. One, the data found in the Kitab shows that imperative forms classified by Sibawaihi and by the later grammarians as Asma'il Fel occurred in the old Bedouin dialects of the 8th century. Vestiges of imperatives belonging to this grammatical category are still found in the present-day Arabic dialects. The occurrence of these vestiges in the modern dialects is further evidence confirming the view that the linguistic information given by Sibawaihi is indeed authentic and accurate. Conclusion number two. The most salient phenomenon discussed in this paper is the occurrence of the indeclinable imperative forms on pattern Fa'ali in the dialect of Kashkadaria in Uzbekistan. As far as I know, this old phenomenon does not occur in any one of the other present day dialects. The occurrence of this phenomenon in Kashkadaria accords with Otto Yasto's inference concerning the linguistic components of the structure of the Central Asian dialects. Yasto says in this respect, and I quote, when examining the Arabic components of Uzbekistan Arabic, I was amazed to see how much genuine Arabic material of a rather archaic nature had survived to this day, end of quote. The occurrence of the above indeclinable imperative forms on pattern Fa'ali in Kashkadaria accords with Yastro's inference. The occurrence of the old imperative forms on pattern Fa'ali in Kashkadaria is another archaic Arabic phenomenon preserved only in this peripheral isolated dialect of Central Asia which seems to exist in Uzbekistan since the 7th or the 8th century. Arye remarks here, Chikovani says that Arab emigration to Kashkadaria began in the 7th or the 8th centuries, but he doesn't give any exact references. Atkan Dvarav Shel Arye, Toda Raba. Yesh lanu sheva dakot le sheilot. Vakasha. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> כן. מה אני יכולה להוסיף שאני מסכימה עם יאסטרו שהחומר בדיאלקטים של Central Asia, הדיאלקטים הערבים של Central Asia מציגים, החומר מציג 
ממש צורות עתיקות, ג'נואין, how he said, ג'נואין, ויש שם גם סוגים, אני חושבת, שמיים, שלבים שמיים לפני הערבית, כמו אכדית למשל, ו- וכן הלאה. למשל גם באומן, יש לנו באומן, ב- ב- במפרץ, יש לנו פעל, כאיזמיל אה, אה, פעל, אה, וגם שם יש אולי שלב שמי מאוד עתיק. כמה עתיק ערבית עכשיו אנחנו נגלה עם אלכסנדר, כי הוא יגיד לנו, הוא יבטיח לנו את הסודות של הפרהיסטוריה של הערבית, כי הוא נכנס לבעיה, לתוהו ובוהו של הדיאלקטולוגיה הערבית.